Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today we're going to make crispy chicken patties. They're so easy. We're going to be using cooked chicken. Now I've got a rotisserie chicken here. I love to use these a lot when I'm cooking because it's really easy. It's fully cooked, full of flavor. You can even use your own chicken if you want to do that, just as long as you bake, broil, roast, or boil your chicken however you want to do it. Or you can use canned chicken if you have any in your pantry, and you can just drain the juice out really good before you use it. Y'all ready for this one? It's really simple to put together. I'm going to show you what the chicken should look like once we cut it all up, and then we're going to go from there. Now for any of the chicken that you're going to use, I'm just going to take off this rope here. You want to pull off all of the chicken. I'm not going to use the skin on it, so I'm going to put that down to the side. If you start hearing squeaking, that will be my dog, Bailey. She is a beagle and she's eight years old and loves chicken. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take the chicken and I'm gonna finish doing the whole thing, but I'm just gonna show you here. And you wanna cut it really thin. Now we could shred the chicken, but I'm gonna tell you when you shred the chicken and then you start frying it, the edges of it, the little pieces on the ends, they'll kind of get burned. So. I like to do diced chicken. And then we're just gonna turn it around and just run the knife through it like a very fine dice. Let me finish cutting up the chicken and we'll come right back. All right, I've got all of my chicken chopped up. I'm looking about two cups here. I think we got it. I'm going to place it into just a medium-sized bowl. Now what we're going to do is set this aside and work on the other ingredients for it. Okay, we're going to start working with our fillers. Now I've got some green onions that I'm going to start off with. And what we want to do, so I'm going to take off just a little piece of the ends here. Now you can lay the onion flat and then just take your knife and go through it. This will help you make really tiny dices. Now as many as you want. Now I've just got two green onions here that I'm going to use. It's going to add a nice layer of flavor to these chicken patties. And then start and make little slices. I'm going to add my diced green onions to the chicken. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with some celery. So I want that delicious celery flavor in. I'm just going to cut the rib in half lengthwise and then cut it again as thin as you can get it. Then I'm just going to dice these up really small and add those to our chicken. We're going to need a binder, so I'm going to take one egg, just crack it into a small dish. I'm going to beat this up until it's nice and mixed. I'm going to pour it in. Now this is going to act as a binder to hold all of the ingredients together. Now we're going to need some crackers to go in here and I need to pulse these very fine using my food processor right here. Maybe about half a sleeve of crackers. These are saltine crackers. I'm going to pulse this until we get the crumb consistency. All right, let's take a look. Perfect. 
you want to measure out half a cup of the crumbs. We're going to add that. We're going to add in two teaspoons of dried parsley, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, I'm going to put eighth of a teaspoon of dried thyme. I'm going to take a fork and we're just going to combine this all together. It smells delicious. Just keep moving it around, pushing it down with a fork. Okay, we're going to start forming our patties. Got my mixture ready. Now in a separate bowl, it's a very narrow bowl, I've just put some panko crumbs in, about half a cup. Now if you don't have panko crumbs, you can use like the saltine crackers as the crumb base, or you can use breadcrumbs, whatever you want to use for that. Now I've just got a sheet pan laying over here, I'll just put the parchment on it for some easy cleanup. Now I'm using a one-third measuring cup. I'm going to pack the mixture into it. This will keep all of our chicken patties uniform and nice and sized. So I'm just gonna press it down in there pretty good. Pull it out just like that. And then I'm going to form it. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to place it into my panko crumb mixture. This is what's gonna make it nice and crispy. Press it on there. Just shake off the excess a little bit. Press the crumbs into it. And then we're gonna place it onto our sheet pan. That way they can all sit here and get nice and ready. Okay, I'm gonna take my one third measuring cup, pack the mixture into it really good, and get a nice form on it. And then just hit it on your hand so it can come out. And then just form it. Make sure it's really tight like that about a quarter of an inch is what we're looking for oh it smells good <laughs> place it into your crumb mixture just pat it very gently this will give it that nice crispiness we're going to pull it out we're just going to place it onto our sheet pan now there's only two of us tonight, so these will be plenty for us. We might have somebody else walking in the door, but as far as that, these will be plenty. Got a large skillet and I'm heating it up over medium high heat. I have about one cup of vegetable oil or you can use canola oil. I'm going to heat this up to about medium high heat before I place in our chicken patties. You're going to take your wooden spoon and you take the edge of it, place it onto the bottom of the pot and if it starts sizzling then your oil is ready. If not then just wait just a little bit. See the sizzle? That's what we're looking for. Now you can also check with a thermometer and just read for 350 degrees, but it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in my chicken patties very carefully. All right, we're going to let them cook for a few minutes on one side. We're looking for these to get nice and golden brown. And then we'll flip them. Now you want to make sure you use a wire cooling rack that you can place these on when they come out of the oil. All right, we're going to start flipping these over. Looks really nice. All right, we're gonna give them a few more minutes. 
Now, if I had everybody home tonight, I would definitely be doubling this recipe. So, <laughs> once you have one that's nice and crispy and done on both sides like this, you can go ahead and pull it out. And then we're going to place it on that wire rack and let them drain. That is what you're looking for right there. I can see the parsley, I can see the celery, maybe some green onion in there, yeah. If you put some other colors in there, like bell peppers. Give them about five minutes so that they can cool down and kind of pull themselves together. Drain out any excess oil that may be on them and then I'm going to try them for you. Crispy chicken patties. Don't those look delicious? Now this was one batch, which is my recipe, so if you wanna double and make more, then you can certainly do that. Let me break one open and show you what's on the inside. Oh, nice and filling in there. Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy on the outside and all around. Look at all that chicken. Yeah, look at that. All right, I'm taking a bite. Mm. I do like the celery and the green onions in here. Mm. Adds an additional little crunch inside and all those seasonings. Y'all make you some. Oh, and that chicken is so good. Wow. Mm. All of it. It's really good. All right, I think two of them are a serving or maybe three, so whatever you want to do. Remember, it was two cups of cut up chicken, fully cooked. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below if you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on the next episode.